Hello and welcome to an Excel bot tutorial. In this tutorial, I will give you an overview of functions and formulas in Excel, explain their difference, and show how to insert a function and enter a formula. So let's get started. Functions and formulas are among the most essential elements of Excel. They both perform calculations and produce certain results. Although the two terms are sometimes used interchangeably, it's important to know the difference between them. Let's first discuss functions. What is a function? A function is a built-in formula in Excel which performs a certain calculation. For example, the SUM function adds all the numbers in a range of cells, the IF function checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false, and so on. In Excel 2013, there are 436 functions. You can access a list of the available functions from the function library on the formulas tab, where they are grouped into categories such as financial, logical, text, date and time, lookup and reference, math and trick, and more functions, which in turn include statistical, engineering, cube, information, compatibility, and web categories. Functions are listed alphabetically within their categories. In addition, there are two other categories which include duplicate functions, autosum and recently used. Autosum lists the five most common mathematical and statistical, and recently used lists the ten most recently used functions. Now let's look at the syntax of a function. So here we have two functions, the sum function, which calculates the sum of the range a1 to a5, and the if function, which performs a logical test on the value of cell a1. Functions are displayed in the formula bar. To make the functions visible in cells, I'll click the Show Formulas button in the Formula Auditing group of the Formulas tab. OK, as you see, a function starts with the equal sign, followed by the function name, and then one or more arguments enclosed within parentheses. Arguments are input values that the function uses to perform the calculation. The number and type of arguments depend on the syntax required for a specific function. If there is more than one argument, they should be separated by commas. So in the sum function, there is only one argument, cell range A1 to A5. In the if function, there are three arguments, the logical test A1 greater than 1, the value yes if the logical test is true, and the value no if the logical test is false. And as you see, they are separated by commas. Now I will show you how to insert a function. There are two ways of inserting a function, with the insert function dialog box and manually. Let's click the show formulas button again to go back to showing values. And let's delete these functions as well. OK. To insert a function with the insert function dialog box, select the cell where you want the result to appear. Open the insert function dialog box in one of the following ways by clicking the Insert Function button on the Formulas tab, by clicking the Insert Function button next to the formula bar, or by using the keyboard shortcut Shift plus F3. In the Insert Function dialog box, search for a function by typing a brief description of what you want to do and then clicking Go, or select a function from a category. Let us select the SUM function. Being one of the most frequently used functions in Excel, it's already in the most recently used function category. Alternatively, you can select it from the math and trick category. As you see, after the function is selected, the syntax and a brief description of the function is displayed below the Select the Function box. For more information about the function and its arguments, click the link Help on this function at the bottom of the dialog box. Click OK to go to the Function Arguments dialog box. In the Function Arguments dialog box, enter the function arguments and click OK. Arguments can be cell references, numbers, texts, or even formulas that you type directly into the argument boxes. In our example, cells A1 to A5 are selected automatically, and we just need to click OK for the function to be calculated. If Excel selects the wrong cell range, you can manually select or type the desired range into the argument box. 
After clicking OK, the result appears in the selected cell. Now let's insert the sum function manually. Let's delete it again. Type the equal sign, the name of the function, and an opening parenthesis. Alternatively, select the function you want to use from the list of suggestions, which appears below the cell as soon as you start typing the first letter of the function. Enter the function's arguments by following a function screen tip below the cell, which displays all the arguments the function takes, separating each argument with a comma. In our example, we will manually select the range A1 to A5. After entering all the required arguments, close the parentheses and press Enter on the keyboard. In addition to being used on their own, functions are also used inside formulas as well as in tables and pivot tables. So this was an overview of functions. Now let's talk about formulas. A formula is a user-defined calculation which can contain values, cell references, functions, defined names and calculation apparatus. So the difference between a function and a formula is that a function is a built-in calculation, while a formula is a user-defined calculation. In Excel ribbon, there is a whole tab dedicated to formulas and containing the following groups. Function library lists all Excel functions by category. Define names displays options for creating and managing names that refer to a cell, a cell range, a function, a formula, a constant, or a table, and are used in formulas. Formula auditing includes tools for evaluating and checking formulas. And calculation displays options for setting the calculation mode in Excel. To enter a formula in Excel, take the following steps. Select the cell where you want the result to appear. Type the equal sign, enter all the values, cell references, functions, defined names and calculation apparatus you want to use in the formula and then press enter on the keyboard. Let's write such a formula. An opening parenthesis, a1 multiplied by a2 plus sum of a3 to a5, a closing parenthesis, divided by 4, a closing parenthesis again, and squared. After pressing enter, the result appears in the selected cell. Let's look at the syntax of a formula. I'll click the show formulas button again to display the formula in the cell. As you see, a formula starts with the equal sign, and then come all the values, cell references, functions, defined names, and calculation apparatus, whatever you have used in the formula. In addition to being used on their own, formulas are also used in conditional formatting, defined names, data validation, and so on. So, this was an overview of functions and formulas in Excel. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.